All right, I'm not even I'm not even gonna tell you what happened. I'll, I'm just gonna show it to you. So just let's roll it. Tell you what, man, I spent about three hundred thousand coins, a lot of coins I had, um, just by saving up and stuff, and get using Ultimate Legend packs and stuff. I don't know, and uh, I was gonna be pretty mad if I was about to spend three hundred thousand coins and not get anything, not even a ninety plus, because I didn't get a single ninety plus, and then that came out of nowhere. I'm happy about this because I wanted to get Jerry Hughes in the first place, and. Also, just because we, we pulled a team MVP out of the team builder, I haven't had that much luck, luck out of those packs. I thought I would have, but uh, he came out of the packs. I made profit. He was like 500,000 coins when I pulled him. This happened the day of the, the I uploaded the 98 Andre Reed in 98, or 99 Andre Reed and 98 Calvin Johnson. That was the day I did that. So it was definitely a good time. We're going to be taking a look at Jerry Hughes. We're going to be playing. A game with him. I think we're gonna do weekend league. I'm not sure. I'm a little bit tired, but uh, I'm not sure. Um, just depends. Hopefully, I can focus. I don't know. Um, I'll try to. I will try to stay awake. But we are going to be re-rolling twice with the team MVP NAT because I beat the limited time event that was out for squad duos, and the three cards they gave me were all positions I didn't need. Travis Kelsey, Julio Jones, and a left tackle. Those are all new cards I got within the past week. Thanks, EA. So basically what I've been doing is just constantly rollery rolling nonstop until we get Von Miller. I want to get Von Miller. Maybe Von Miller will be right here. No, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be Joel Batonio. But like I see now, I don't want Joel Batonio because I have 96 Quentin Nelson. Because of the main reason right here, we'll we'll check his uh, lead blocking. Because I'm pretty sure both of the guards' lead blocking is absolutely horrendous. Lead block, 86. Quint Nelson lead block, 97. I'm good, Joel Petonio. Like, yeah, that was just 30k I just bought. But like, 1,290 scouts. I, I can now re-roll twice, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I can re-roll two times in case I don't get Von Miller. So, like... I don't think we'll be able to get Von Miller in this thing. I'm just, we're just going to test out. And tomorrow, well, the day of me uploading this, I'm going to be able to get a free combine, or the free 97 combine. But Let's go! Let's go! That's exactly what I wanted, man. Let's go. Let's go, baby. That is the best. Look at those stats. Look at those stats. Are you kidding me? Those stats are amazing don't at me let's look at that zone coverage let's check out the zone coverage he's got 70 zone but you know i i think we'll be able to work around it considering von miller's probably now that i have him he's probably going to be blitzing most of the time but let's get this guy upgraded that man looks good i like him there he looks good there but uh we also are going to be putting late vayton oh my god i can't speak we're going to be putting Leighton van der Esch. Probably, yeah, we're gonna put him at linebacker number two, and then we're probably gonna be able to sell, um, what's his face? 91, uh, Demarcus Ware or Demarcus Lawrence. I can't think of it right now. It's, I think it's Demarcus Ware, but I'm just excited that we pulled him. But we're also going to upgrade Von Miller. We have 729 trading. We can probably just put a scheme on him and we'll be fine. I don't think we gotta put like physical or anything on him yet. I think we're fine. I don't know why I'm trying to click that, but let's go. Probably pass rush. Let's just go pass rush. He'll get him to 99 stats. And he's not going to go up in overall. But if we were going to add an ability, I'd probably add secure tackler. That's most likely what I'd do or out of my way. And then if we upgrade him, which I also want to do, which is going to be a ton, I'm going to put out of the way, out of my way, and then I'm going to put unfakeable. This is literally a card you can use up till the end of Madden. I'm pretty sure you will be 100% perfectly fine. So we got two TM team MVPs now. They're both on defense, but it's fine. Now that I've taken up 20 minutes of your time but looking at cards, opening packs, doing stupid stuff, let's hop into a game and actually get ourselves a gameplay. All right, you know, he's got 99 Jerry Rice and 98 Calvin Johnson, but look, let's look at our top three. Bang, bang, bang. That's what I'm talking about. Just saying, if this is a blowout, 
I'm still uploading it. I I don't care. Usually my first weekend league games are not that good. They are really not that good. So if we get blown out, we get destroyed here. Don't be surprised. All right, we'll see how we do here. He's going to be running it up the middle. And uh, Michael Strahan says we saw. All right, we're going to play it a little safe here. I don't think he... Okay, he's going to run half the... We had a chance to have him in the backfield, but that didn't happen. All right, is this guy like doing a uh, like half pack, half pack dive only challenge or something? Like literally, he could take. Okay, now he's doing a half pack stretch. But okay, we could have been there, but we got caught up for some reason. Usually, people that like run the ball like this against me, yeah, they'll get me the first drive, but like after that. It really does not work out for them. It really does not. They'll score once if they run the ball all the time, but after that, they don't score much. Like, he literally has these great receivers and he's not deciding to throw. He's just, he's just, I'm a halfback dive kind of guy, pretty much. And another thing they do is they run two clock, and that really usually doesn't work out for them. I mean, this guy might be doing this because, like, he knows he's probably amazing on defense, but, like, I don't know. Just saying, if you run chew clock, I have no respect for you. I'm sorry. The only time I respect you running chew clock is if you're you're up by a lot and you need to. Well, you're not. Yeah, you're up by a lot. But if you chew clock coming straight into game, like this guy literally just took away the entire first quarter. Like he doesn't even know what I'm gonna run on offense. He doesn't know anything, and he's just assuming I'm gonna be bad and runs chew clock. Like you can't just do that. You run two clock when you're confident or you're up by a lot. All right, we'll see what happens here. Um, to be honest, he could just. I'll take that. I'll take that. I screwed up. That should have been a completion, but we just got lucked out there. So let's actually score on this drive and take advantage of the situation. All right, first and ten. Okay, okay, I'll take that. That's a good run for first play. I get, I get. There we go, Vic. There you go, Vic. There you go, Vic. I'll just get. We're going for it. I didn't have enough time to make audibles. So if he is blitzing, he may or may not be here. He might be playing scared here in this for me in this play because it's fourth down. But if he is, it's probably coming from the right. Yep, he's blitzing. It's coming from the right side. So Calvin Johnson's right there. Why don't you get your deception, Calvin Johnson? Down to the 29. Another thing I like to do when people are blitzing is I like to run halfback draws because. They blitz from random areas, and then we pretty much get them where they aren't. But uh, that time he didn't blitz, so. All right, fourth and one here. I don't think he's, yeah, he's. I think he's blitzing, actually. I actually think he's blitzing here, so we'll set up for it. We had a wide open person last, last play on third and one, but we just screwed up there. No, he's not blitzing here. And we'll just, we'll just hit Andre Reid. If you're gonna make uh, one hand catch animations, you need to catch the ball. Sorry. Oh, goody, goody. Is this what I think? Oh, nope, it's not. I don't think it is. No, it's a toss. It's a toss. We are there. Saquon Barkley's not getting. So after this guy's two passes, I'm really not that afraid. But after that one, I mean, yeah, you did an in route. I'll give it to you. Probably should have been on that and got on that last play, but he's gonna go with the toss here again, and we're out there. Von, thought Von Miller screwed up there. I feel like he's trying to make me think he's running the same play again, but he's actually fat. Nope, he is running the same play. Again, it's all about this toss game. That's what he's all about. Oh, well, not the toss game, just the run game in general. All right, see if we can get a pick here. I'm going to try to bait it because I know, yep, there it is. I got it. I got it. I got you. I'm baiting you. We're, that's what I'm all about. And uh, we got to get at least a field goal here. Not sure what coverage this might be. I'm trying to check speeds on receivers. Um, they got no speed except for Saquon, but that's you don't want to throw it up to a to a running back. We'll hit. So he's still running the same exact blitz. I'm just gonna slide to the right and hopefully that'll give me some extra time. I mean, it might not give me much, but I know it'll give me some extra time. Um, Kelvin has plus 11 release as Tyreek Tyreek Hill is open every single time man I just got to get the ball out like as soon as I see it open. I'm going I'm tossing it I don't I'm, I'm not gonna wait for it to develop. Um, yeah, it's I, it's out there. It's zooming like Timeout I'm going for it on fourth down here. 
All right, so if Antonio, basically if Antonio Brown is not going to get open here, we're pretty much screwed because I am pass walking. Yep, he's blitzing. He's blitzing. He's blitzing. We're going to hit Calvin Johnson. That's Andre Reid. He's got it. There you go. All right, so basically we just got to get a quick dot to the outside. And we got to run basically the same play we just ran and get a dot to the outside. So hopefully we can get this done. I mean, it looks like he's in quarters now, but he's not. I'm just going to make Saquon pass block. Hopefully that will help because I need that whip route. Yep, here we go. There it is. Antonio Brown. That was a horrible ball by Vic. What this game? It's funny because this game shouldn't even be easier. I'm not mad it's not because I'm pretty confident against this guy. But like, this game should not be 0-0. Zero to zero. We should at least have 3-6 to six points on the board right now, which kind of sucks. If Vic would have thrown an accurate ball and if we would have just kicked the field goal instead of going for it. We, uh, we definitely would have been in a better situation right now. But we'll try to figure it out here. And yep, 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 yep. Why did you stop running, Antonio? But we will hit RB, Antonio Brown. He's just running the same blitz every single time, man. Like, you can't expect me to figure it out and figure out what's going to stop you from doing it. Well, stop it from working. So, like, you can keep running it. I mean, if it keeps working out. Go ahead, keep doing it, but other than that, I'm just gonna keep dotting you up in it. But I'm, karma sucks, so I might just might have just screwed myself over. Antonio Brown, that should have been a pick, but I'm glad it wasn't. So I think we got him out of the defense, so I don't think we have to worry about pass blocking anymore or anything like that. So we're gonna see if he's not blitzing anymore. He's not blitzing. We're gonna hit Andre Reed. He's got it, baby. That was an amazing catch. First and ten. Here we go. Here we go. There it is. Andre Reed into the end zone for the touchdown. We up. About to be up. It's a, actually, we might try to go up by eight none. Yep, we're gonna try to go up by eight none. Hopefully, Robbie Gold, the goat, will try to throw. We'll throw a good ball here. Yep, yep, yep. There it is. There it is. That's a dot to Jeremy Shockey and eight zip. All right. Let's see what he's gonna do. He's gonna be running stretch some more, and uh, we're there. So. Uh, this guy hasn't seemed to change his scheme. He still believes in it, but okay, he's gonna go halfback dive here. I was trying to get ready for him to do exactly that, but uh, Lyman got me there. All right, we'll see what he does. Well, actually, he's probably gonna do the same thing. I mean, why wouldn't he? Honestly, like, why am I even questioning? Um, yep, 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 yep. Oh, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> That is Saquon Barkley, ladies and gentlemen. If you uh, got a Saquon Barkley last year, you are a lucky person just like me. Hopefully he just tries to kick the... Okay, no, he's gonna actually going to go for it. Hopefully he doesn't get it. Hopefully he doesn't get it. Yep, he didn't get it. We're still up. So let me know in the comments down below. Um, what do you guys think I should do when I get... Actually, I think this is going to be uploaded. It's going to be uploaded on Saturday. So let me know what you guys think I should do with my combine standout. You guys think I should just quick sell them and uh, get another team MVP? Or if it's somebody good, do you guys think I should uh, keep them on the team? I don't know. I'm thinking about a team MVP. I'm not. I'm just not positive about it. So if you guys think you have an idea for me, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see if I'll make it happen. It depends. Oh, those are pancakes right there. Those are pancakes. The game wants to give me pancakes. I'll take them. I'll take these pancake blocks. I'll take these pancake blocks. Yeah, bro. I got a Saquon Barkley, too. He's pretty fun, isn't he? All right, now he's in no, he's in the same thing. So I think we'll be good here. Just keep that block on Lawrence Taylor for a little while. There you go. Inside, outside, Saquon Barkley down the sideline all the way down to the 10. I can run the ball, too, man. All right, so he's starting to space his guys out. So I think I'm going to go with a trap here. Let me go with the trap. Okay, okay. Saquon freaking Barkley. All right, last play, I totally didn't even commentate whatsoever. I just did a fast play. It didn't work out whatsoever. We're just going to go inside zone up the middle. I, I'm pretty confident. Yup, Saquon Barkley into the end zone. That's what I'm talking about. So he's going to be running toss here. It's pretty obvious. I'm just going to use the Deion Jones and bring myself over. Yep. There is a toss. Okay, he's he's got yeah. That that's Saquon Barkley. Yep, here it is again. Yep. If he wants to run the ball, tire his guy out, and just do the same thing and waste a lot of time, he can go ahead and do that. I have no problem. Kind of sucks because Jerry Hughes or 
um, Von Miller haven't really made that many plays in this game. I mean, I mean, obviously they haven't. He's only been running the ball really. He find that, is that like his sixth pass? It's his sixth pass of the entire game. Actually, I know exactly what I'm going to be doing when I get that combine standout. I'm going to be doing the same thing I just did. I'm going to try to get Khalil Mack. Mainly, that's a pick. There you go, Eddie Jackson. He's probably going to be leaving the game after this if it's a pick six. No, Eddie Jackson's not going to make it happen. He's probably going to leave. But pretty much, okay, yep. Pretty much, I'm going to try to get Khalil Mack. And the reasoning is because I'm going to use my 94 to 95 power up pass on Khalil Mack, the team of the week edition. And then I'm going to then power Khalil Mack up and then he'll be like a 99 overall for me. So I will have amazing pass rushers. It's going to be unbelievable. It's going to be disgusting, the pass rushers I have. So if you guys are ready for that, make sure you guys drop a like. That'd be absolutely fantastic. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. And if uh, we could hit 1,200 subs here uh, soon, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Make sure you tell guy, tell everyone about my channel. I am stuttering like a mother trucker right now, and I do apologize. All right, guys, make sure you guys tell everyone about my channel. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Tell your friends, family, your cousins and your family, your brothers, your sisters. Tell everybody, man. We got to get 1,200 subs, and when it does happen, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Obviously, we didn't get it this month, but... Uh, doesn't really matter there's always a future to get it um it doesn't matter when we get it it's just the point of us actually getting there so uh yeah let me know what players you guys want to see after cool mac and i'll see you guys later peace out homies